afternoon, Huskies. Today is Tuesday, October 1st, 2013, and I'm Jack. And I'm Anna. Welcome to Double H TV News. Coming up on Double H TV News, get your three day weather forecast, news, and Husky in information here. Stay tuned to Double H TV News. Please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for your three-day weather forecast. Today will be mostly sunny and warm with highs in the lower 80s. Both Wednesday and Thursday will have a high of 85 and lows in the 60s. Each day we will see sunshine and no cold fronts, with air continuing to grow warmer. Today in world news, the government is officially closed. This is the first time the government has shut down in nearly 18 years. The last time it did, the stalemate lasted 21 days. The shutdown could cost the still struggling U.S. economy about a billion dollars a week in pay lost by federal workers. Now the Republican-controlled House and the Democrat-controlled Senate will try to see if they can re reconcile their two versions of, oh, sorry, of the spending plan at the heart of the issue. So far, each has refused to budge. <laughs> In club news, there will be two senior roundup meetings on Thursday, October 3rd, and on Wednesday, October 16th beginning at 7.25 for all students who plan to graduate in 2014. Attendance is mandatory and any absence will count towards the senior exam exemption policy. All Fashion League for Youth applications with teacher re recommendations are due to Mrs. Muzon in room 2604 or Mrs. Davis room 2608 on Friday afternoon, October 4th. No late applications will be accepted. Key Club applications are due this Wednesday. If you want to be in the Key Club, you must get your application in by tomorrow. Please see either Mr. Kraft or Ms. Norris for any questions. The International Club will be meeting today, October 1st, in Ms. Tucker's room, room 518, after school. Please bring t-shirt money. For all students registered to take the SAT this Saturday, please remember the following. Bring your admission ticket and photo ID. No students will be admitted without these two documents. Due to the large number of students testing, plan to arrive well before 8 a.m. for parking or drop-off. Doors will be locked promptly at 8 a.m. and no late arrivals will be admitted. More than 150 of our seniors have yet to be photographed for their senior portrait, including me. The deadline is October 15th. Call Prestige Portraits for an appointment. This is the only way to guarantee you have your pictures in the yearbook. Financial assistance is available for, 20, for the $25 sitting fee. Seniors can inquire any counselor in student services. Congratulations to the men's soccer team. They had a victorious game last night versus the Sanderson Spartans, which makes Heritage tied for the first place in Cap 8. Women's golf tees off today at 3.30 against Wildwood. Volleyball will be away at Sanderson starting at 4.30. Come out and support your Huskies! Attention to all those interested in swimming on the varsity team this year. Dryland workouts will be held every Tuesday and Thursday from 2.45 to 3.45 starting today, October 1st. Meet Coach Overton in the PE hallway. Be sure to bring a water bottle. You must have an up-to-date physical and file to participate. From the entire Double H TV news team, thanks for watching this edition of Double H TV news. Have a great day, and we see you back here tomorrow. We'll leave you now with some highlights from last night's soccer victory. And the Frisbee Club does meet today in room 1508.